Shalom family, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Havila, for those who are new. I am the face of the wife life and my channel consists of motherhood, being a wife, um, homemaking, as well as homeschool. So if you are interested into those types of things, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell um, for when I post new videos. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing how this past year of homeschool went. Uh, this was my first year homeschooling two children, um, as well as um, my youngest, who is a two-year-old. So that was very interesting. So I am going to be going over how I did it, um, how it ended, what curriculums we used, the pros and cons of the curriculums, and hopefully this can be helpful to you all. So if you're interested in knowing how that goes and how my journey went, then please keep watching. Okay, so um, I do have my notes in front of me so I don't get sidetracked, but I do wanna say that I have missed being in front of the camera. I've missed posting videos. I've been pretty busy and kind of took some time off to focus on more important things uh, in my Lord's home. So yes, um, so the first thing that we're gonna touch on is the curriculums I used. I show them in a previous video. Um, I did go over that in a video that I posted before the school year started last year. Um, I think it's gonna, I'll try to post the link here. And what I did is I decided to go with a more structured curriculum because the year before, whenever I taught my daughter, it was just kind of free range. We just used whatever. Um, and I just tried to cover what I thought she needed to know but I know that I'm more structured and I feel like it's just gonna be helpful for me as a teacher. And I wanted to see how she thrived with having more structure, which it went great. So we decided to use the Spectrum curriculum and we did use uh, the math, writing, reading, spelling, and we also did language arts. So as far as the overall curriculum, I absolutely love it. It's very, very structured. It's very, very effective. Um, it's fun for me as the parent and teacher teaching my daughter and she's really, really engaged with all of it. The only con when it came down to that curriculum was the math, particularly we did the hands-on version uh, of the Spectrum uh, curriculum. They had two different options. You can do the hands-on version or you can do one that is just the regular workbook. And I really wish we would have went with the regular workbook. I felt like the hands-on portion um, Basically, it had a lot of laminated uh, pages that we had to do, like cutouts. It had like circles, triangle shapes, like uh, different um, animals and stuff like that that you would cut out and able to use for like counting and stuff like that. But I guess that's just something that didn't work for my daughter. Um, I could tell that she was easily distracted with the shapes and the animals versus like focusing on using it as a tool for learning. So I decided to scrap that maybe a quarter of the way through um, the school year. Yeah, we scrapped it. <laughs> um, I was kind of shocked because I really thought that was going to be like my favorite thing when it came to the Spectra curriculum was the hands-on part, but it wasn't. So, you know, one beautiful thing about homeschooling is you can try it out and if it doesn't work, you can always switch it. So we tossed that. And I'm going to actually save it for when my son um, approaches kindergarten. So, um, yeah, we decided to scrap that. And I decided to kind of formulate a math curriculum myself for her using workbooks. So I wanted her to mainly focus on addition and subtraction, getting the idea of how numbers are, um, you know, how you can add numbers together to get another number. I wanted her to really get that concept. Um, and I feel like the, the other curriculum kind of focused more on like counting. And it was just, I didn't feel like she was really like growing or flourishing. So that's why I decided to switch. But the, the workbook that we did use, uh, let me quickly show you that really quick. Um, it is called the, the Addition and Subtraction Practice Workbook uh, for grade K. Um, this is it enhances math skills, develops automatically in uh, 
Yeah, it says that it enhances the math skills. Now, it is strictly just addition and subtraction, but that is kind of the main thing I wanted her to focus on since I know she can already identify numbers. She can already count to 100 and stuff like that. I wanted her to focus on the addition and subtraction part, and I felt like she wasn't really grasping that with Spectrum. So I did get this, and when we're about halfway through it, because we switched late and honestly we had a lot of breaks this school year which I'll go into in a whole other video to explain what we're going to be doing this year what we're doing currently and what the plan is but yeah so this was what this really really helped her and it caused her to literally love addition and subtraction I did get her I think it's called an Acabus and she uses that to help her with uh, counting and stuff like that for instance if she does get something that doesn't allow her to count and add visually, she has the activist that she use, uses. So yeah, that's what we did for her. Now for my son, we did purchase the Mama Homeschool Room curriculum for pre-K. And um, it was great, it was absolutely great. We did not use it throughout the whole year. We did use it the very, very, very beginning of the school year. Um, and the reason why I switched with my son was because I noticed that it was a little too easy for him and I didn't really realize that um, it would be too easy for him but the beautiful thing about that is that I laminated pretty much everything and so now I can use that for my two-year-old so he loves like you know flashcards and stuff like that so I'm really excited to use that for him and I'm glad that I did purchase it because you know you know if something doesn't work for one child it can work for another so I am excited to use that for my son this upcoming school year uh, my two-year-old but for my son what I did is I kind of did like the same thing with the math um, but for all subjects for him we bought multiple workbooks um, I bought a math workbook I bought a writing workbook I also bought, um, I bought, actually bought multiple math workbooks, um, and I wanted him to mainly focus on reading. So I did buy um, a phonics workbook and mainly workbooks that focus on how to blend letters together, letter sounds together, uh, going over letter sounds, because I really feel like that reading is really fun fundamental for when it comes down to school in general, and I really don't want him to be delayed when it comes to reading so that's what we've been focusing on literally this entire year is letter sounds blending um, and I am quickly going to show you um, the books that we did switch to. I don't know if you all know her but her name is JDA she is known for homeschooling um, on YouTube here on YouTube and she has really really great videos on you know teaching your child how to read and um, she ended up putting out the Elements Phonics Level One work, uh, Level One book. And basically, if you look through here, if you can see, but it goes over blending letter sounds together, and I absolutely love it. Honestly, at first, my son did not like it. He was like, "Okay, what is this? I'm not writing anything." But I really wanted him to just focus on conversating with me, and. Um, Blending the sounds together so we were only a quarter of the way through this but it's it's helping a lot it's helping so much and basically what he does is he'll go through each of the letters and he does not say the letter the name of the letter he says the letter sound so he'll go ah buh, k, d, e, f, g, and he'll go through all of it and that way whenever he gets to the next section he'll blend the sounds together so he'll go buh, ah Ba, ba, e, be, and he'll go through all of these um, until he gets through the entire book, which we're not there yet, but we're getting there slowly. But my goal is to, for is my goal with him is to accomplish blending the sounds together, remembering the letter sounds, blending them together. Um, also, another book that I purchased that I love this book so much. Um, I actually only bought this because it had good reviews on Amazon. And I was like, mm, let, me just, let me just get it to see if it works. And it works. Um, it's kind of like the same thing as that book, but it's actually a workbook that you use. So this workbook, um, it, it, it's basically, it teaches the teacher how to teach the, the, the student. And it tells you what to say and how to teach them this particular 
um, lesson, each lesson, and it'll go over each letter in the sounds, but then it also goes into, let me see if I can find it, it goes into blending the sounds together. So like this section, it was going over the at, the at blending sound, and he had to go through and repeat after me. We named other words that had at in it, and then he had to go through and do the exercise. So it provides a lesson with an actual exercise. And he loves this book so much, and I love it too because it's just, it's great. And then um, even on the reviews, it goes over how their child was ending at, uh, ending, their child was reading at the end of the summer or at the, or at the end of the school year. And I'm just like, if you can get this book, get it because so far for me the reviews are true so the name of the book sorry it's called learn to read activity book it has 101 lessons and it's by hannah braun math we um i got the highlights brand uh preschool it goes over counting color and trace and we really need to fo needed to focus on counting for him i feel like that was something that he would he would kind of just look at something and say oh mommy it's six or he'll just go one two three but there's only two there. He's just counting really fast. So I was like, we need to focus on him actually counting, doing activities in here. But it also involves coloring, so he liked that. And then he also needed to work on um, writing his numbers as well as the words of the numbers out. So that has all of that in here. Um, really colorful workbook. I like it. And it's been working. And then the last workbook that I got is um, a preschool math addition and subtraction. But the thing about this, I'm like, I don't, I didn't feel like he was ready for this yet, but um, it mainly goes over like tracing numbers. And we just now got to the point where it involves, um, it slowly introduces the child into, uh, introduces the child to addition and subtraction slowly. But it's by, is it Hippodoo? They have lots of workbooks on Amazon. We, this is not the first time we've used this brand of workbooks. I think I used this last year with Eden. Um, but yeah, it just has addition and subtraction, 150 pages, math activities, counting and tracing. So this has really been working as well. Um, what I added in addition to the math book that I got my daughter is I already had these on hand. They're, they are the time and money flashcards. I realized that in the curriculum, it didn't really have much about money um, or telling time. And um, may maybe it did, but it may have been at the very, very end of the curriculum. And I wanted her to kind of touch on that early on. So um, in addition to the addition and subtraction workbook, I did get these flashcards and she absolutely loves them. So we've been working on her time, going over time, going over money, which um, she caught on to pretty well, but we're still trying to perfect that. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Before my two-year-old, I got the Scholastics um, toddler jumbo workbook it's mainly to help with um, like the, the fine motor skills so I feel like you really need to work on that um, it's ages two to three and it involves tracing coloring cutting letters and numbers so it's a pretty big workbook we just got this so we're only like we're, we're only like past the first couple pages but um, other than that this past school year he was just kind of like self-learning um he would sit and and, and do homeschool even me like he would mainly color and do stuff like that but he wasn't really doing a lot of structured stuff we, i did go over like his shapes and stuff with him letters uh numbers and stuff like that but i um it wasn't anything like too structured so i got this for him and we've been going over our letter flashcards. i let i let him go over the letter i do the letter sound with him as well as like just the things that are in the pictures he's been loving that and we're just going to continue through to continue with that so um, if you want to get an idea of if you want to get an idea of what we're going to be doing this next school year and what we're actually currently doing then please check out my next video I'm going to be touching on um, a really interesting subject that I never thought I would need to discuss or that we would even try but we're doing it so um, if you get a chance go ahead and subscribe Hit the notification bell so you can tune into what I have coming up next. Shalom.